Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 6 Pro. And this is based on Android 13 and this is one of the coolest ROM. So Dreamfest ROM, I always barking about Dreamfest ROM for Redmi Note 8 and now for Redmi Note 6 Pro. So this ROM actually comes with pros and cons, but if you see the pros and cons part, the pros will be more than the cons there are a few cons but those are not major so you can always ignore those and can use this as a daily drive so first of all we are going to look at the android version and our security patch level so if we go here and check our android version so it's as you can see android 13 and it is an official rom so as you can see 13 official tango and tulip is the nickname of this phone maybe and uh, January 5, 2023 is security patch uh, level. Maybe there will be a new ROM in this month. I will flash that too. But as for now, we are going to review this. And this ROM is quite smooth actually. There is no issue. And the optimization of this ROM is really great and working really fine for me. I have been using nearly a week now and I haven't seen any major bugs yet. So if we go here in the home screen, we are not getting a lot of apps, few of the apps and I have been installed like safety net, opera and also the Google camera. It does come with Google camera, but Google camera go and it does work properly. There is no issue with that. So you can take photo, you can take video and also front camera, front facing camera working just fine. But you may see like uh, sometimes sluggishness in camera, not in the UI, in the camera there will be sluggishness so i have installed another camera gcam which is not go version so it's also working just fine for me i have no issue with that and safety net let me show you it passed if you install magisk it will be failed so you can use uh, all the okay this one has so safety net is failed here so cts profile doesn't match but i did not install uh, magisk here although i have checked in this interface from on my readme note 8 I got safety net passed maybe there. So as for now, in Dreamfest ROM you cannot use um, banking apps, but rather than that, maybe you can do something to tweak that thing and you can even use bank apps. But as for now, in uh, if you don't modify anything, it, as for the ROM, there is uh, no CTS profile passed option. So you cannot use bank apps. Rather than that, there is nothing new here. So if you are going to setting, we are not getting any kind of Xiaomi parse option. Redmi Note 6 Pro also has like screen retention problems. So for to reduce that issue, I use like uh, extra dim mode and it does work. Although it's still not perfect. Like I got it in, in my Redmi Note 8. Like if you use uh, Xiaomi parse option, the, the the quality of the screen will be much better than the extra dim option because if you use extra dim it will reduce the screen brightness too and about the features it comes with tons of features actually so as you can if you go you can explore this thing there are tons of them you can change you can do whatever you want and about the battery backup you will get about six hours plus of screen on time and you can do something like Enable battery charging level warning and other things. There are some basic features ads here and block like kill process and other things. And also the battery temperature is always there. And about the fingerprint. So if we tap fingerprint, it works really fast actually. It's about like stock ROM. So it's really fast and very reliable. There is no issue with fingerprint too. In the display option, there is one bug with this not only this ROM actually, all the Android 13 based ROM has this problem, which is double tap to wake up. So if I, as you can see, double tap to wake up is on, but if I put it on sleep, it doesn't work actually. I don't know why it doesn't work in, I have tried, I think two, three ROMs based on Android 13 for Redmi Note 6 Pro and all those ROM has same bugs, but in, in a few weeks ago, I have tried dot os which was based on android 11 and it has like these features too and it was working just fine but in this case in this rom it doesn't work 
another feature like if you double tap on the status bar it does turn off the screen no issue with that and other things that i display cut out and all the features are here and one things about this rom is that uh in as default it comes with like like, like the body of Panino is left side so if you want it to get it right side you can go to the sound and vibration option you may get it here so you can see show volume panel on left so you just turn it off and it will be on your right side so you can fix that issue too and other things like light caption and sound quality and there is no issue with those things actually the basic um there is no major bugs actually but the, the things that um there are some things which are really necessary like in double tap to wake up i really use that feature but it is not here so about the hotspot and the tring so if you go to hotspot web hotspot there is no 5 gigahertz band issue even it doesn't come in my redmi note 8 too because i'm trying same rom on my redmi note 8 and the review will come soon it is not there and rather than that there is actually nothing new it's all about stock rom so you will not getting something like you get with custom ui but it's really actually usable rom in the home screen settings uh, you will get a lot of features here and even you will get developer option so if you want to try some other tweaks for your uh, home launcher you can do that too here so yeah, a lot of them although i'm not using those things but a lot of them are here rather than that this rom is actually working really fast and fluent i haven't faced any kind of issue it is actually much better than stock rom which runs on android i think android 11 and based on uh android 11 me why 12.5 maybe or 12 but it is really bad but this rom is actually is much better than the stock rom now although you are not getting like uh banking apps maybe it will be fixed in next build i am not sure but if i get next build i will install that and i will put a review on that rom too so that's it all about this rom basically a daily driver rom with few minor bugs you can use this and i will put the link of this rom in the description you just uh clean flush this rom don't don't flush on top of another rom and then you will get a lot of bugs so that's it all about Driftfest ROM for Android uh, Redmi Note 6 Pro. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. So please,